Okay, by we're done a million times. Well, not a million times, a few times. Um, <laughs> tree roots from hell on this one. Right. Anyway, seems I know this one quite well. I can tell you about a little uh, um, thing that happened to me on the A303. I was merrily driving away from it on my way to Basingstoke for work and um, had, a, had a very heavy cold. This is a few weeks back and uh, so as you do, I'm, you know, having me cup of coffee. Uh, just motoring along, you know, following the traffic, normal speed, you know, it's sort of 70-ish um, plus, if you know what I mean. Um, but, you know, I wasn't going any faster than anybody else. So, uh, anyway, I see this big black Volvo behind me. And being full of cold now, I just didn't think nothing of it. Anyway, I carried on drinking me coffee. And uh, I pulled out um, to overtake a slower vehicle, pulled back in again. And then I noticed the uh, big black Volvo in my mirror. Um, sort of moving into a position but rather than sort of just passing me he's sort of sitting out and uh, again didn't think nothing of it you know heads full of cold and just thinking shit I've got to go to work and feel a bit shit so anyway eventually he overtakes me and um, and I instantly see the lights in the back window. They weren't switched on. He didn't, um, all he did was just um, give me a, a gentle signal to pull into the next lay-by. And, um, and one of the nicest people you could wish to meet. And it was a bit of a shocker because, uh, well, no, it's not, because I know two other policemen that are, are fantastic people and he wasn't a bit arrogant he was very helpful informative and um, he just basically made me aware of what I was doing and and made me aware of the correct speed limit for my van which I obviously my fault I should know but on that particular road it's a 60 miles an hour on a dual carriageway because my van doesn't have a car, it's not car based. It's a purpose built van. Um, and also about being in control of one's vehicle when one's drinking one's coffee. Um, but as I said, absolutely fantastic guy and um, you know, polite. What more can I say? Absolute credit to his force. And um, I think he was a Hampshire um, traffic um, policeman and um, you know credit I believe in credit where credit's due and that guy definitely deserved credit oh what have we got down here now I'm really no I think they're pheasants I was hoping they were great busted no uh, pheasants oh that's a shame I thought we'd run into some great bustards then for a minute they're just too small. Yeah, so um, he turned out to be an absolutely, you know, a really good bloke. And um, I just wanted to let everybody know that there is some really good policemen out there. And I mean, I'm sure if I was behaving like a complete knob and, and was aggressive and, you know, and, and I know I know and all that sort of shit, then he might have been a little bit different with me, but, you know, I use the rule that I've always stuck to. If you get caught, stick your hands up and say, I'm very sorry. And um, nod and smile. Because really and truthfully, you're on a loser. Um, but in that case, I was on an utter winner because I was definitely on some serious points. Well, not serious points, three points it would have been. But it would have, would have been a faff. I mean, I've got a clean licence. Um, 
and obviously would have cost me money. Small concentration needed just at this moment because it's rough as hell and those tree roots are going to be horrible. Um, yeah, so I was just, you know, it actually made my day. I was feeling really, really shite. And, um, he made me day. Yeah, so it was a bit, um, but the law, the law to my mind doesn't make sense because because my um, my van my van doesn't um, doesn't weigh any more than what a fully loaded Range Rover does, even when I've got my kit in it. So doesn't really make a lot of sense to me, but there you go. Um, but it. My understanding is that it's based on what it takes to penetrate the central barrier. You know, the kinetic energy. But that really doesn't ring true. Because you're telling me a 40 ton lorry at 56 miles an hour isn't going to go through the central reservation. Damn sure it is. So really, they can't be based on that. So it really doesn't make sense why my van I can do 70 on a motorway, but quite a lot of dual carriageway have got equal Armaco as what a motorway has. So, anyway, that's my rant. So, for anybody's information, single carriageway it's 50 mile an hour, dual carriageway 60 mile an hour, motorway 70. And uh, that's for a non car based van.